We are at Cap Rock Canyon State Park, uh, South Prong Campsite. A little primitive camping, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is our view. Yeah, let that come into focus a little bit. And this is right here on the immediate side of our campsite, and the opposite side. That is our other view, which is not too bad. Hey, buddy. Uh, it's pretty chilly out here. Drinks are staying cold. It's uh, about I think it got down to like 27 last night. Maybe up to 50 today. Got our little campsite set up. There's for Winston. And for me and my wife, Sydney. Uh, currently there's a burn ban. So that sucks, but we got this as a source of heat. Uh, we got our jet boil, make some water. And I got our little cooker right here. Uh, we'll do some cooking on that later on, snacks and stuff. We always keep a bag for our dry goods. Uh, we also have this for cold stuff like meats and cheeses. You know, anything that we don't want to get. We want to spoil. A little windy out here, but very beautiful. Oh. Yeah, one thing we've learned over time is being able to cook is sometimes can be difficult. And uh, we'll cook on the fire, we'll, you know, cook on like a grill, but these things right here are amazing. They make it so much easier. Just a little thing of butane. Propane. Bam. Sorry, a little bit of propane. <laughs> uh, and you got your fire, you got your stove. You can cook, they can actually cook regular meals, making some eggs right now. We'll put some turkey, put some turkey on here in a little bit. Uh, some turkey, sausages, pancakes. This is a great for pancakes. Just put a little water in it, mix it up. Mm, bam, got your, got your pancakes. Anyways, it's getting a little bit darker. Some clouds rolling in. It's kind of my friends, Jay and Alexis, just got here. Jay, Alexis, she was tired. She took a nap. So, you know, we're just hanging out. So far, it's really nice. We like the cold. We like it. So one of the cool things that you'll see out here, this is our campsite. And next couple of buffalo. It's grays out here. I think we've seen about 15 or 20 so far. It's pretty neat. Too bad. trip to see some of the locals over here. Here we go. Hey guys. That ain't cool. That's badass. So you know if you take a dingle bear and head off the bison it's good luck. a little riverbed. I'm gonna do some hiking out here. Check it out, see what we can find. Already came across something really cool. 
Looks like some limestone or something. Just these layers. It's very, very neat. Very cool stuff. first whole night got a little chilly probably 30 degrees but we had our good sleeping gear good sleeping bags um, nice little pad to insulate us from the ground you know so it wasn't wasn't too bad just typical West Texas cold weather camping uh, but then we got to wake up to this right here so not too bad no complaints we're at the north prong spur trailhead i think it's uh, roughly three miles there and back total not too bad so kind of get my shadow out of the way checking it out there's tons of tons of routes here tons of hiking but uh, this is going to be the one that we can do today at least we may do one later we'll see i'll try to get some cool footage um just to see what it's like North Rim Trail. I don't know if you can see this, but way out there they got some campers. It's a hike out camping spot. Might be something we come back and do next time. But I can imagine. You can see the appeal. Because I mean look at that. <laughs> what a spot to camp. Not a bad place to wake up in the morning. With the view out there. Oh yeah. So we just took this little cut off going up the hill must be some kind of lookout point i don't know just to go up to the top there it's about a mile from what we were told i don't know if you can see them right there but let's see how it goes gonna be worth the view for sure this is about a little more than halfway up Friends of mine. Okay. She married out. It's uh, getting better and better. Very, very cool. They worked the worth the hike so far for sure. Looks like we came in over there, and this is like a little cutoff to get to the top of the lookout point. Could have kept going. Plenty of trails out here. Always good advice. Here we go. Sneak overlook.
would run away. Oh! This poor thing's falling too fast. Come back, it's too shadow. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. What small dog? Alright, we're getting ready to cook supper for the last time on our trip out here. Got some noodles. It's an easy way to make dinner. You got a jet bowl, warm some water up, put it in there, and you got dinner. It's cheap. About 45 cents for a meal. Uh, I don't know if I can show you our tent set up. It's kind of dark in here, but Got a little Mr. Buddy heater. There's Sydney. You got her cot. And the boy, of course, has got his own. And I got my cot. My side's messy because I'm a messy person. And we got the vents open for the propane heater so it doesn't kill us. And I just got this on just for now. But, uh, yeah, we're getting ready to wrap things up. And I think we decided to give this place an 8 out of 10. It's really nice. The weather was great most of the time. It was very windy. Hmm? Yeah. If you're looking for anything super fancy, this ain't it. Not, not our campsite. The bathrooms were, you know, okay. Um... There's no power, of course, water where we're at. So, in this campsite, we're at the south. It's the south one? South Paul? South Prong. We're at the South Prong uh, campsite. So, it's not bad, you know. It's nothing too crazy. You're not having a hike out. You park and then you walk 30, 40 feet and you got your campsite. Uh, we're at campsite 47, but I mean we had a really good time. The hikes were amazing. Tonight's going to be the first night that it's been clear and no clouds, so I'm going to try to get some cool long exposure shots and you know slap those in the video somewhere. Uh, but we'll definitely be back out here. So we're from Houston, so it's about an eight-hour drive, which is not not bad. Completely worth it for a good spot. Yeah, we'll definitely drive back. So, hope you guys enjoyed.